This video is about accessing Excel worksheets with VBA. Worksheets are middle in the hierarchy of accessing Excel data. From a workbook, you can access its worksheets. From worksheets, you can access cells and charts. Let's see how to access each one of the worksheets in turn with a for each loop. Sub demo Excel 1. Dim WS as worksheet. For each WS in sheets, message box WS.name. Next, WS, and sub. The workbook's worksheets are available as the sheets collection. Instead of sheets, I could have wrote application.sheets, this workbook.sheets, or active workbook.sheets. As it is written, sheets all by itself refers to the active workbook. Application.sheets also refers to the worksheets of the active workbook. However, this workbook.sheets would mean something slightly different. It would mean the sheets of the workbook that contain this macro code. Another way to access worksheets is by their numeric index. Sub demo XL2 for i equals 1 to 4 message box sheets index i dot name next i and sub. In this case, we have four worksheets, so you can access each sheet by its numeric index 1 to 4. You usually don't know the numeric index. So this way of accessing worksheets is usually the least practical. One exception is when you have just added a sheet to the end or beginning of the sheets collection. Then you know it is the last index or the first index. Worksheets can be accessed by name rather than index. Sub demo XL5 message box sheets index sheet one dot name message box sheets sheet three dot name and sub. Finally, the worksheet with focus can be accessed through a global variable. Sub demo XL6 message box active sheet dot name and sub. Active sheet means the worksheet that has the focus, the worksheet that the user last clicked. Notice active sheet refers to a different sheet if you select a different worksheet before running that code. If this video helped you, please watch my other videos, give this one a thumbs up, and subscribe.